Hello there friends, welcome back to the Trabatsky Eurovision Club, the Croatian Eurovision Club. My name is Emily and today is a very exciting day because HRT, the Croatian broadcaster, has released all 14 songs entering Dora this year. Dora is the Croatian national final selection for Eurovision and today we are going to listen to them all for the very first time. Unfortunately, it is just me reacting today. I know it doesn't make as much sense British person on the Croatian Eurovision Club reacting to the Croatian songs. I am not gonna know what any of the lyrics mean. So whilst this is the Croatian Eurovision Club, we can't ignore the fact that I'm not Croatian and I can't speak Croatian. <laughs> if we could have had a joint reaction, we absolutely would have, but Elizabeth is still on her maternity leave. She had a baby girl last summer, and also she managed to catch COVID this week as well, so. Everybody send your get well wishes for Elizabeth. There are 14 songs entering Dora this year, and so obviously, whilst I'm not going to react to all of them in one video, I'm gonna be reacting in separate videos, I am going to do it as efficiently and as quickly as possible, so this intro is the same in every video. <laughs> but don't worry, there is gonna be a skip bar that you can skip to the reaction, so you don't need to watch the intro 14 times. I'm gonna put these all in the same playlist, but make sure that you are subscribed to our channel so that you don't miss any of them. I'm way too excited, let's just go. You've arrived to reaction number three, and I'm gonna be listening to Mia Dimšić. Dimšić? Dimšić? Something like that. Singing Guilty Pleasure. So, let's jump in. Don't know why you all have songs about like guilt and forgiveness. That was last year as well. Seriously, stop this. It's pretty. I like the sort of solo Gentle guitar. Of you last night woke up, you weren't there. Well, yeah, probably because so he was in a dream, not in real life. Of dreams I'd never share. Do you usually share your dreams? Come without a warning, early in the morning. Timing's never been our thing. Leaving me with guilt. What's he expecting this? I'm with him and your secret treasure. This is not going in a way that I expected. I wouldn't. After hearing the verse, I would never think this would be what the chorus sounds like. It's like this beat coming in. I can see how it's going to be really catchy. It's got that like repeated melody that's ooh. Is that the. We've got cheeky violin. This is also going to be on Drive Time Radio. One love is enough, that's all you ever get. Okay, trying to brush that line. All you ever get. Her voice reminds me so much of Latvia 2019. Carousel that night. I think that was the right year. Which was my last place for the entire of Eurovision, but I like this more. <laughs> I just think the vocals sound similar to that. It's really like, I'm enjoying the steadiness of this beat. Ooh. This is like, it feels slow, but it's like quite up tempo. I'm actually enjoying it a lot. It's really, it's gonna be, it would be really catchy. This is really easy listening, really easy listening. I'm loving the backing vocals. Sounds, I see how this is called guilty pleasure, like girl, my gosh. Well, no, you don't have to stay married to him if you're not in love with him. Like, I feel really sorry for this, like, husband. It really is giving me, like, the hopeful romance vibe. Like, I want to be, I want to think, oh, this is so sweet and romantic, but she's married to someone <laughs> in the story of the song. Like, 
Okay, I get how it's a guilty pleasure. Girl, you're making me feel guilty about this. Again, I actually really enjoyed that. I thought it was really catchy. I really enjoyed a little gentle sway. It was so easy listening. I didn't feel like pressure to dance. Like I didn't feel like I had to dance. I didn't feel like I could dance to be fair. It wasn't really a dancey song, but also I couldn't stay still. Like I had to like sway or do something. I really enjoyed the beat there. I really did. And the backing vocals. Oh, I'm loving the backing vocals. My third one in so far and all of the backing vocals, I've been like, oh, I love the use of them. It's definitely not my super favorite. Like, okay, I think we all know that me and Agavetic is probably gonna be and stay my favorite, but it's good. Like, I'm quite impressed so far. We're three for three on the entries. I do see it blending. Like if it were to be at Eurovision, I don't see it qualifying, but we will just have to see. I really am interested as to what she does on stage. This feels like one where you could like fall into the trap of like not doing much on stage and then that's actually gonna be your downfall. Like I really feel like she would have to have some staging and tell a story here. Maybe let's have like a bed on the stage and then two people can be fighting and like, she's like lying in bed and but some man. Not like, nothing happening in the bed, but just like, you know, a scene in their bedroom and then they're like fighting, like tell the story, you know, that's what I wanna see. Rather than just standing with the guitar singing, I think that might get a little bit old, a little too quick, but I enjoy it. It's very easy listening, again, drive time radio, 100%. Um, I would totally listen to it in the car, If I, especially if I was like driving home from work, like if I was stressed, like this feels like a de-stress song, like this would make me calm down, even though it's about cheating on your spouse. I, I wish I could be in love with two people. I can't even find one. I think it's very reliable. I don't think it's a risk. So I think that's, I think it's very safe. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe. We do all sorts of fun content on our channel. Not informative content, no. We are not a news source. We are terrible at that. But we are good at chaos and fun. You all need a relatable Eurovision content provider and that is gonna be us, okay? There are many ways to join our club of Euro fans here on YouTube, subscribing, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, following and liking, and you can also check our website, which we don't really update, but it does have cute little things like meet our team, and you can see all the faces behind HEK. I'll see you in my next door reaction. It's very exciting. Or my last one, because like I said, I'm repeating these endings, so. If I said earlier that it's my last one, then this is my last one, and I won't see you in my next door reaction, but I'll see you in my next Eurovision reaction, so. Bosh. You still have a reason to come back. <laughs> you can find all the details you'll need to follow us on our end screen and also in the description box where you'll find details of me as well. We all really enjoy hearing what you think, so make sure you comment your opinions below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Again, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Bye. Can you always come and say, Would you run away? Would you run away with me? Would you run away? Would you run away?